I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question based on compound angle formula. The question here is to simplify sine square pi by 8 plus theta by 2 minus sine square pi by 8 minus theta by 2. To begin with, let's apply the uh, formula which is difference of squares. So if I have a square minus b square, I could write this as a plus b times a minus b, correct? So that is going to be my first step. We have a square minus b square situation. So in this particular case, I could write this as sine pi by 8 plus theta by 2. So this is like a square minus b square. So we'll add them up plus sine pi by 8 minus theta by 2. So that is a plus b times a minus b, right? So we get sine pi by 8 plus theta by 2 minus sine pi by 8 minus theta by 2. So we have written this as difference of squares as product of sum and difference. Now, this is like sine a plus b plus sine a minus b, right? And here we have sine a plus b minus sine a minus b. Now, what is this equal to? When you add sine a plus b, let's re rewrite the formula for sine a plus b. It is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B, correct? So recall, if I have negative sign here, that is to say, if I have A minus B, in that case, the sign is negative, right? When you add A plus B with A minus B, when you add these two, on adding these terms cancel out and we get twice sine A cos B. So on this side, we'll get two times sine A cos B, right? So that is what we get. Sine A is the first term, which is pi by 8, right? So pi by 8, sine A cos B, correct? Two times sine A cos B. B is theta by 2. So what we have done here is treat this as a plus b and this is a minus b, right? So what we get here is sine a cos b, right? Twice. On the other hand, if you take away, then this negative becomes positive. These two terms cancel. So we get twice cos a sine b. Do you see that? So, so this term, what we get here is twice cos a sine b. So a is pi by 8, we get cos pi by 8 sine theta by 2. Do you see that? So that is what we get. So now we are again translated these sums and differences to product. Now we'll rearrange these. 2 sine a cos b and 2 cos b sine a. These are now in the form of a product. Okay? So if I rearrange it, I could write this as bringing the cost term with pi by 2 here and the cost term with theta by 2 on that side. I'm just rearranging. So I could write this as twice sine pi by 8 times cos pi by 8, right? Times twice cos pi by 2, I mean theta by 2, sine theta by 2. Does that remind you of something? Now this is a double angle formula, right? We know sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a. So we have a, now the angles are pi by 8. So I could write this term, the first term, as 
sine of twice pi by a. Do you see that? And this term also, I can write this as sine of twice theta by 2. Do you get it? So that is how we could in steps simplify it. Now, what is this? This is sine a divided by 2 will be 4. We could write this as pi by 4, correct? And here we have sine theta. And sine pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2 times sine theta. Is it okay? So therefore, this whole term can be simplified as 1 over square root 2 sine theta. So I hope you understand and appreciate how we use difference of squares to factor and then we use sum and difference formula in different ways and also double angle formula to simplify. Feel free to write your comments, share my videos and if you like, that'll be great. Thank you and all the best.